Now that this deep super has dried, we can go ahead and put it together. These long parts are the sides of the super. These shorter parts are the ends. In the ends are dado cuts. These cuts receive the sides. This groove here is a frame rest. First we use wood glue. combination with six penny nails. It's real important before you start nailing that you make sure that your handles are both on the outside. Also before you nail it down tight make sure that your ends, your edges, are very flush together. This is another important step. Make sure that the edge across the top for the frame rest is directly opposite to the edge on the other end. Now put three nails from the ends into the side. Well, now I'm going to put two nails from the side into the ends in between these three. This will create a really strong corner. finish your deep super, this dado cut will be on top. It forms a shelf for the frames to hang on. One of the commonest mistakes in building supers is to nail the sides in upside down so that the handles are useless. Coat all exterior surfaces with an oil-based paint. You don't have to use white. Any color will do. I'm going to use blue, green, tan, and brown in addition to white because this makes the hives less noticeable. Compared to the supers, the frames that go inside them are a little bit more tedious to build. This is a top bar. First we break off this wedge that's attached. It's later used to fasten the foundation in place. Shave off this little bit of wood that remains. And just like with the supers, we use wood glue along with nails to make a real strong hold. I glue both end bars at the same time. 
and fasten them to the top bar. This is the bottom bar. It has a split down the middle to accommodate the foundation. And we line up all the pieces so that they're flush on the edges. And we nail the bottom board in place. Now we need to nail the top bar into the end bars. One nail in the middle will do. Now this is a real important step that we need to remember. Put another nail from the end bar into the top bar. These nails we put in on the side provide important support later in the season when the frame gets real heavy with honey. Next, put brass eyelets into the holes in the end bars. The eyelets keep the wire from cutting into the soft wood. Now the frame is ready for cross wiring. Put a small nail in the end bar. Thread the wire through the holes. There are four holes to accommodate four cross wires, but an X shape was used here because it provides similar support and uses less wire. Fasten one end of wire on the nail. Pull the wire tight. Now fasten the wire. This is wax foundation. It's a sheet of beeswax imprinted with the shapes of cells. When it's installed in frames, bees use it literally as foundation on which to build their combs. Slip a sheet of wax foundation into place. Return the wedge, making sure it is on top of the wire hooks. Now nail it into place. Last of all, embed the cross wires into the wax. Shallow frames are made the same way, the only difference being the cross wires are installed in two horizontal rows.